Today is May 31st, 2021, and this is your daily Half-Life 3 update. There is no news about Half-Life 3. Uh, so I wanted, I, I wanted to say something I was thinking about this. So we all know Avengers Endgame, spoiler alert, the time travel stuff makes no sense. I've seen plenty of time travel movies, and this makes no sense. Okay, they do, they put very little effort into explaining the rules of their time travel besides Hulk saying, that's not how time travel works, and not really fully explaining it, which, that's a whole other thing. But, specifically the time heist, and their plan to get the stones, not about whether or not they can or can't get the stones, their plan to get the stones, like the scepter, you know, Captain America going hail Hydra, that, 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 that was a fine plan. Uh, Thor going to Asgard to get the to get the reality stone. That was fine too. But my main problem is the Tesseract. Now they struggle so much in the movie to get the to get the Tesseract. They come up with this complicated plan to get the Tesseract, and then the plan fails. They got to go back to the seventies to get it again. And I don't understand why they struggle to get the Tesseract so much when it's probably literally the easiest of the stones to get besides the Power Stone. Now, the Power Stone, I don't know why they chose to go back the exact same day that Peter Quill was there. I mean, they could have gone back two days before and they would have had no trouble at all. But anyway, Tesseract. There's so many better times to get the Tesseract. Uh, for example... They could have, uh, Thor could have gotten it, because, as we know, the Tesseract is in Asgard during the events of Thor the Dark World. So Thor is already going to Asgard to get the Reality Stone. All he's got to do is stop down to the basement and pick up the Tesseract. Simple. Uh, you could go back to the events of Captain America the First Avenger. You grab the Tesseract, the Tesseract is just sitting on the bottom of the ocean for some amount of time. We don't know how long exactly. I mean, maybe we do. I don't know. But it's sitting at the bottom of the ocean until Howard Stark comes and picks it up. It's just sitting there. You send War Machine and some, you know, some hydro suit to go pick up the Tesseract, go back, you got it easy. Again, you have the long period of time that it's sitting in S.H.I.E.L.D. headquarters in some warehouse. They could go back to the 70s or the 80s or the 90s and pick up a Tesseract from the S.H.I.E.L.D. headquarters, like they eventually ended up doing. Or, you could just go way back in time, you know, 1930s, 1920s, when it's just sitting in some coffin, in some, like, random church or something, because isn't that where Red Skull found it in the first place? So it's just sitting there, un unprotected, un unguarded, and they would know that it was there, because Hydra would have had records of that, and as we know in the events of Captain America at the Winter Soldier, all of Hydra's files got leaked out into the public. So, I mean, it, their planning doesn't make sense. And they also went into, went into a couple of those with literally no plan, like they had no plan at all to get the Time Stone, Seems their plan consisted of having Hulk punch Doctor Strange until he gives him the Time Stone, which Doctor Strange wasn't even there in 2012. So, uh, and, they, and of course, no plan for the Soul Stone either. They're just going to send their two weakest fighters to the planet where Gamora died and hope for the best. But, uh, yeah. Now, the flawed time travel logic beside, beside the point, the time heist plan just made absolutely no sense at all. And I feel like no one's talking about that specific aspect of it. The fact that it really didn't make any, any sense at all. And also the fact that, you know, they run out of pin particles, which... You, you can use time travel to have an infinite supply of pin particles. If you have two pin particles, all you gotta do is go back in time to yesterday, steal the two you have, you got four. Go back in time, 
take that 4, turn it into 8. It's pretty simple. And also the fact that, you know, Tony and Black Widow didn't need to stay dead when you have time travel. Because they brought Gamora back with time travel, so all you gotta do is go back in time to yesterday, grab Tony Stark, bring him, bring him back to the present, and hey, got Tony Stark alive and well. Do the same thing with with uh, Black Widow. But uh, yeah. nope, didn't do any of that. Would have made too much sense. And then where? Did Captain America's shield come from? Because we're told that... Because we're either... A. Supposed to believe that... He didn't... Interfere with the past. If he didn't interfere with the past, how is there a perfectly fine shield when the shield was destroyed by Thanos? And then... Yeah, it just makes no sense. And it's annoying, because time travel isn't hard to do. You can do time travel and establish rules and follow it pretty easily. There's a lot of movies out there that follow time travel pretty well. And of course, none of these movies are referenced. Uh, instead, they reference, you know, popcorn time travel movies like a back like Back to the Future and Hot Tub Time Machine. No one out there, except idiots like Scott Lang apparently, think Hot Tub Time Machine is a realistic representation of time travel. But, uh, yeah. And that has been your daily Half-Life 3 update for May 31st, 2021.